Zeppelin landing in Little Wigborough. Perhaps the strangest tale of them all is the most recent, for high above, German captain Alois Bocker frantically steered a super Zeppelin, codenamed L-33. On the night of the 24th of September 1916, L-33 was hit by gunfire over London, and Captain Bocker would bring her down right here on Copt Hall Lane in Little Wigborough. Now if we look in the distance we can just about make out that uh, cottage and here's a picture. We have the latest technology on my videos. So I got this printed out this morning on the way here, look at that. You can see the scale of it and if you look in the corner you can just make out a guy climbing a ladder. It's the nose of the airship. Now we have moved a little closer. To our left we've got the small cottage and the lane runs up here. If you look at the tree here, it looks like this was the location. The Zeppelin would have, L33, would have been right across here and into the next field. Remember it's 650 feet long. I'd also like to add what a glorious spell of weather we're having at the moment. For the last week or so the temperatures have been right up. In my car it's showing 31 at the moment. Also to remember that the small lane we're walking on, this is the exact route that the 22 German airmen would have taken to, uh, to escape here. I'm very surprised that it's not been made into a film. Because on the same night, there was four other Zeppelin, well, three other Zeppelins that would attack London. And one of them crashed just over a mile from my house, L32, and it crashed in Great Bursted. And I made a video a long time ago on that one. So okay, right now we would be walking directly through the aluminium superstructure. I reckon it's where this tree is. What we shall do is we'll spin around and I shall show you a picture that was taken in 1916. You can see the cottage. So if we Stop here. Again using the latest technology. Look at that. So you can see it's immense. Now amazingly all 22 crew survived the crash landing. Captain Bocker knocked on the door to the cottages right here. For he was to torch the top secret Zeppelin. Captain Bocker and his crew then threw their weapons and marched on up the lane where we stand now. I'd also like to add that the residents in these cottages, or the cottages there, were so scared of the Germans outside that they refused to come out and amazingly nobody was hurt. So we'll have just another look. And if we go back to the other picture, I'm not sure if you could see it properly. So we've got the sun on us now, behind us, so. Yeah. So back to the story. It was now 1.30 on a Sunday morning and coming the other way was Special Constable Edgar Nicholas. He was on his bike. Constable Nicholas said, and where are you going? And Captain Bocker replied, we are on a special mission, and in perfect English, the captain asked, Can you tell me how to get to the docks? Constable Nicholas said, Never you mind about docks, you just come along with me. And 
to cut a long story short, Captain Bocker and his crew would surrender and they were marched off to nearby Peldon. Now during the same night, a mother gave birth to a baby girl and named her Zeppelina. 